Trump accountable, but that we keep track of all their voting records. Yeah. And to make sure that we're following them wherever they go. We, we know that politicians love a good photo op. Make sure you're going to all the events that, that they're going to and posing thoughtful questions. Make sure you're shining light on their hypocrisy. It's important that any any chance that they have to make themselves look good, that we make them look bad. Because it's up to us to keep to keep to make sure they're keeping us in mind every single time they're signing on to a bill. Every single time they're supporting um, a project that might not be in the best interest of these communities. Also, I, I want to shine light on the fact that we need to start engaging our local government as well. Yeah. 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 Councils and boards that have vacancies in your towns and cities. The reasons why a lot of these a lot of these anti-environmental projects get passed without opposition is because a lot of us aren't attending planning meetings to pose those questions or to say that we are opposed of these projects. So it's up to us to go to public meetings. It's up to us to stay, take a stand and, and have our voices heard. Um, with that being said, I want to reaffirm the ask that was made earlier that Chuck Schumer start hosting town hall meetings. Yeah. Yeah. Within the next month. The next month. So if that is something that I ask Senator Schumer to host a town hall meeting within the next month in, at all his district offices. Yeah. Time to time for his constituents. Yeah. Put his feet to the fire. Wait, wait, wait. The, the mic has to be close to your mouth yeah, to be heard. Close. But not in not in this front of the face. Should I break out into song first for everybody yeah. and see if I can start my singing career? Yeah. 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 Don't Go want that. Uh, just talk loud. loud. <laughs> okay, so can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Everybody yes. hear me? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. So first off, this is a ooh. Just kick that to your mouth. Okay. This way? Yes, right. Aim it where? No. Oh, her. Just talk into it. Just talk into okay. it. Oh my god, this is a process. Okay, first off, I want to thank everybody for coming out today in the middle of a Thursday. I cannot tell you how much this means to me, and more importantly, the senator. Um, and to voice your concerns, I see a bunch of familiar faces, but you know what? I also see a lot of brand new faces um, and people who are newly motivated to express their displeasure with the state of things. I want you to know that it's this kind of grassroots support for the cause that means a great deal to us and Senator Schumer specifically. He was down at Battery Park this weekend, and you may have seen him in front of the Supreme Court the other night. He is drawing strength from all of your support, and for that we are very appreciative. It can feel like a lonely battle sometimes in the middle of the United States Senate floor when you're in the minority, but really, knowing that all of you are out here to help, it means a great deal to all of us. So you may know that Chuck, who coined the phrase Swamp Cabinet, has already opposed Secretary Tillerson for State Department Sessions for Attorney General, DeVos, yeah. For education, I say Du Bois and DeVos, but the same thing. Price for HHS Secretary, Mnuchin for Treasury, Mulvaney for OMB, Chow for Transportation, Carson for HUD, Hudzer for Labor, Scott Pruitt for EPA. Today... I'm Perry and Zinke. Okay, well, today I'm here to tell you that he is also opposing Perry and Zinke. I don't want Perry in charge of our nuke nuclear proliferation. We don't want Perry. He's an idiot. And he uh, he also has to oppose the nominee. And also for the Spectra crew, we are still with you in opposing the pipeline expansion. We have communicated, recommunicated that to FERC and then the Obama administration. We are happy to reiterate that with FERC moving forward. And again, I sincerely thank each and one of you for coming out today. You are the living, breathing reason of why the Constitution is such a beautiful 
thing. Yes. We are going to keep at it, and he will certainly know about each and every one of you coming here today, and he will be immensely thankful. So thank you so much, everybody, for coming out. Oh, thank 
Good to see you. 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 Good